So far we have mostly talked about finite sequences or strings, but let's now momentarily move to the subfield of algorithmic complexity that studies the algorithmic randomness of infinite objects. One such object is the so-called halting probability number, as introduced by Chaitin in 1975, also known as Chaitin's omega number, and also often wrongly called a constant, defined as follows where P is a computer program running on a universal Turing machine U, and the sum is a probability between 0 and 1 for computer programs running on U to halt or not. So clearly calling omega a constant is misleading because it depends on the choice of universal Turing machine U, and for different choices there may be different omega numbers. However, the Turing machine has to be somehow special, a type of Turing machine that is often called prefix-free Turing machine. Let me explain you what is a prefix-free machine. So there is a special type of computer called prefix-free that has to be used for objects such as Chaitin's Omega and is also sometimes used to define algorithmic complexity. Its need stems from the fact that you don't want to trivially count the same program more than once. The problem is that it is very easy to generate an infinite number of programs as an extension of another program. Take the program that prints S, and then prints an extra one at the end only to delete it before halting. The new program prints S, but it is only a spurious variation of a more compact program, the program that printed S alone. The number of these spurious programs to produce the same output is infinite, and for a measure to be called a probability, the sum of the probabilities has to be 1. It would not have any mathematical meaning to say that something has more than 100% of chances to happen, for example. So, to circumvent this problem, Leonid Levin in 1974 and Gregory Chaitin later devised a way to consider only significant programs according to some rule. The rule is that new programs should never be initial sub-programs of any other programs. These types of sets are called prefix-free domains. A classic example is a set of telephone numbers. The only way to reach a person by calling their telephone number is if no telephone number is part of any other telephone number, because imagine that Alice's number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then Bob's telephone number is 123. Then no one could reach Alice because as soon as you start typing her number, you would be connected to Bob as soon as you finish dialing 123. Different ways to avoid this are possible. For example, telephone numbers are all of the same length, so any other phone number of different length is not a valid telephone number. Another way is to choose some sort of special character as an indication of a number termination. For example, some online banking systems ask their customers to use the hash sign to indicate that they have finished introducing their bank account numbers. Prefix, prefix codes are guaranteed to exist for a countable set and the so-called craft or craft chaitin inequality guarantees that taking the sum of all the probabilities of the series will converge to 1, which is the necessary condition for a probability measure. For algorithmic complexity or kolmogorov chaitin complexity, there are versions that can be defined both on regular universal Turing machines and also on prefix-free Turing machines, but they do not differ much from each other and do not dramatically affect the definition of algorithmic complexity. However, it does change more fundamentally this probability measure. Coming back to the definition of Chaitin's omega, every time that a computer program halts, it contributes to the value of omega by determining a binary sequence that can be seen as a binary expansion of a real number between 0 and 1, because remember this is a probability. For example, in 2007, one of my former PhD co-advisors, Christine Kalut, 
computed the first 43 bits of a chitin omega for a certain universal Turing machine. The first digits of this omega looks as follow. The longer program length p, the smaller contribution to omega. So the sequence is not only very difficult to calculate for increasing program lengths, but it is also uncomputable because we know that because of the halting problem, one can never really know which computer program will halt. This is why the omega number is also called the halting probability. From the formula, it can be seen that short computer programs have the greatest weight in the fraction because the smaller the denominator, the larger the values. And so the shortest computer programs will contribute the most to omega. But just like algorithmic probability that we will see later, omega is also semi-computable, meaning that one can estimate it by, for example, fixing a programming language framework and running random programs of increasing size, just as Kalude and later myself did also in 2007.